as your compute capacity grows and the demand grows for it, uh, you may need to add additional compute nodes to provide additional CPUs and provide additional storage as well as memory to the stack, OpenStack. So for that, you can create a new, prepare a new virtual machine or a bare metal server similar to the steps we did earlier then the preparation for installation and you can reuse the previous answers file to install it on the new compute node so the only changes you need to make are as follows search for exclude and you need to exclude your previously installed servers and add the new compute node into the list of config compute hosts for example we are adding a new uh, host with ip.3 and it will install it and it will leave the remaining servers intact because we have placed them in the exclude servers list after that it's same same as the previous Installation steps, you run this command. Backstack answer file command to start the installation. But before you can do that, I believe you need to set up trust between the new server as well as copy the IP address to the host file or to DNS so that each of the nodes can address the new server. So since we created a clone, the keys already exist, but in your case, you may need to copy the SSH public file over to the new server. Now we are ready to run the command for the installation. And this is going to take some time around 10-15 minutes similar to the main installation where the compute node took 15% of the total time but this should be way faster than the initial installation Remember you will have to disable firewall because the firewall will not allow the controller node firewall will not accept connections. So you have to manually disable it and later add the rules to it. This way the new compute node can communicate back to the controller node and continue with it installation but you need to manually add the ip tables rule to controller node similar to the compute one you'll have to create entries for compute two now catalog is applied and the installation of the compute node has completed now the same post installation steps need to be done to connect the local bridge to the 192.168 ip and we will be modifying the local IP in this file. So I have used this particular IP to specify it. After that, you need to restart. Uh, these two services
this should update and now it has updated to the 192 IP and now all both the compute nodes and network nodes are interconnected via a tunnel the compute node is installed and activated but it needs to be registered with OpenStack and to do that the following steps need to be performed on the controller node you can run this command to discover the new compute nodes now compute 2 is available and the next command to run is to discover the compute host which is this one And this is added so let's go to our horizon console and see the status of the newly added compute node If you go to admin section in the system information, you will see the newly added compute node available. So if you take a look at the now this compute 2 has been added, it's enabled and it's in upstate. Also in the hypervisor section, you will be able to see. Now this compute node is ready to accept new virtual machine installations depending on the scheduling and the weighing mechanism of OpenStack. Thank you.